you carry an aluminum foil in your coaxial cable and you will watch all TV channels for free. So let's get some alumina foil and we will select a piece of it of approximately 15 centimeters to carry out our project let's take our foil and fold it to fit us in 13 centimeters then i take a rule i make the first fold i withdraw the rule and now i have finished measuring it at 13 centimeters Let's mark in case the rules are known that we do not leave two dummies to work. 13 centimeters. Here it is. We move to the other end and mark like this. 13 centimeters. Now go back and set the rules on the draw lines. Look at 13. And here it doubles your roll again. This guarantees you. We have 13 centimeters. Now what do we do? Let's cut in half in half. Our foil. This foil is 13. 30 centimeters. Then half of 30, 15. And here we are going to divide the film into two equal sessions. Can be done directly with a rule. And there it is. We continue with the next step. Let's look for coaxial cable. The length you want the longer, much better, as you can make a direct connection. At the exit of the television set by means of a, which is placed at one end. And install the connector and go to the opposite side of the cable, where we are going to perform the following operation so that the antenna, it can function correctly at the design frequency which is from 470 megahertz. Note, you should go to the end of the coaxial cable and pull out the tip. You can pull approximately one centimeter from the tip. So what are you going to do? We are going to cut the black rubber very carefully to leave. Uncovered mesh. I'm going to pull the mesh back this way. Look. Let's look for the internal driver now. And there it is. And here we are going to wrap it the mesh again. Okay. So we have, as they call, a lot one quarter circuit between the mesh and the internal driver. This is reflected here in that if we place a tester to measure continuity, we have continuity between this part and this part. That is, if we excite the antenna around here, automatically everything is reflected in the cable, but it will not work. What are we going to do now? Simple, I explain. Let's take the measuring tape and you will mark 
from where the black rubber that I have here ends. Look at backward 14 centimeters. I will mark it. I am going to use another white marker. If you have not already done so, it may be member of this channel through subscription and you will be receiving exclusive content to carry out professional antenna projects. Well then here we have 14 centimeters. Now let's leave a separation of one centimeter Ready, one centimeter. In that one centimeter of separation, we will withdraw black rubber with great care. And here we are going to find the net. Then let's divide in the center in 5 millimeters. The mesh in two sessions. Then you will cut it carefully. The mesh only without putting too much pressure on it. To the element. Because it could also cut the die element. It is a matter of separating to both sides our mesh. Then now look at and the other party returns it carefully to the other side. Okay, now what should you do if you observe? Here is a film similar to this one. What should you do? It should be removed very carefully to find the dielectric that is white. This part is thus removed. Notice that it is a paper with a foyer because if you don't, you will maintain continuity. Here, This is the fundamental reason for which we must remove this film very carefully so that the project itself can work. If you don't, it's not going to work for you. Okay, and what have we done here? We have now separated the mesh of this section that is, that if I measure with a tester now, this part here and this part we are not going to have continuity. We did have it before because we were landing at this point everything. If you wish, I can prove it to you with the use of a tester to go on strike. Okay, let's start with the basics. As I was already explaining, I separated here. That is to say, there is no continuity between this element and this. And we can check this when we place the test on a continuity scale and we unite. The tips, the scale C does not go to one. With 
sound, you are going to identify if the work is well done. If I measure this part here, there can be no continuity. You observe that, but if I measure this part here, there must be continuity. If I move here and I measure between this point and this, there can be no continuity. I hope you understand. But if I measure that center with the tip, there has to be continuity. And if I measure it on this side, there has to be here, but not here. But I move the tip and place it here where it curls up. And there must also be here, but not here. But I land that two part here. Let's see how I do it. That two part or the one that was what I did before. These two parts with an element landed here. And one of these two parts here, I will use the metal part of the blade and I will place it here. Let's see if I can, if I won, then, and I place the tip of the tester, let's see how I can do it. So, has, let's see, there, let's see if it, let's meet, because it is putting a lot of pressure on me. Hey, how it sounds, because I landed. So this is well divided. That's what I need you to do. We continue to learn the above details. We will now proceed to use our plates of, which are the essential dipoles for this antenna to function. Then I will use liquid silicon to glue these elements. What do I do? I use some of this silicone and place it directly on the black rubber. A little bit. There it is. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's totally free. You can do it at this time. This way it helps us to grow. Look, and uh, let's take our cable. And remember, it was 30 centimeters. We are going to place it directly like this. Try not to make contact with this uncovered tip here. At the end with the film. Because then it will begin to receive the signal. This part from this point and the antenna will not work for you. That is why you should try to, to avoid to remain in contact. It doesn't matter if it moves you a little more inward. And there we have it. And we are going to roll up very carefully. Here. Our film. Let's measure. Sorry. The 3 centimeters is the 13 centimeters. Is. So I got it. Yes. There I have my 13 centimeters. Yes, I was very careful with the paper. Then I roll it up like this. Look. Calmly everything, calmly. So that our work is well presented. You are going to place the amount of paper here that you understand. But it must be covered at least with a turn. And here I can start to use my liquid silicone to put the paper together directly and it's going to come off.
We will give you the drying time and proceed now to place the other one that will be placed here. What do you think? Very simple but practical and we are going to to be checked at the time of us. Perform the following test. One one emergency that we have made here on your channel. JM Current Affairs. So we invite you to be part of this community with a totally free subscription to the channel so you can perform it at this time. Let it dry and see you in a few moments. Thank you very much, my people. We reached the end of the construction of our project. If you liked it, you can subscribe to the channel JM Actualities, an emergency antenna, which we have made using coaxial cable. Here you can use coaxial cable. The length you understand to reach directly to the TV. Can this antenna be used inside your home or outside your home? And with it, we will enjoy free television. What do television channels offer us? This way, you save money and you will be able to watch by connecting to the TV free channels. Let's go with the antenna test. Thank you very much for your kind tune.